Bryce Shallow won't. So I better call y'all from the gym. That's the reason the Saints coming back at you. Another quick lesson. Probably to get started as I always do. I like to give infinite honors and prayers to Yahweh. By Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Rekakodash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And salutation to the audience that's pushing the truth and sincerity. And Lord willing, this video will be edifying first and foremost to the Ufi elect. Then to those that cleave to the body. And I won't get in a lesson today centered around standing corrected. Okay, because many men, you know, want to have uh, an unflawed report amongst the brethren or better words, a good report amongst the brethren. But technically, we already have blemishes on us, man. Okay, because we have been in folly. All right, we have sinned. You know, probably the walking in this thing. And sometimes, you know, just because you're corrected on something or you uh, maybe break a scripture down wrong or something, hey, man, that ain't the end-all be-all. That don't mean you're not a man of the Lord. You know, many men get too down upon themselves. But even with getting too down upon yourself, the Lord also say that a man not ought to think higher than, than you know, he not ought to think higher than... To, to, to think high of himself as well So it's a balance in that But you are not to hang down head either You know But a lot of men Try to walk through this uh, This truth with perfection When we already imperfect beings Man okay We already got blemishes on us Because it only take a little folly Concerning uh, uh, A man's Reputation you know, that's why Yahweh Shah made himself of no reputation. Because anything he would have did that was quote unquote in the eyes of people as something is wrong, they would have looked looked for that to be a what? A stigma unto him. To basically say, look, he wasn't righteous. You know, he did this or he did that. So men walk carefully after this truth. Okay, but we got to still know that we're going to have folks. We're going to have trip-ups. We're going to have slips. We're going to have offenses. You know? That's just kind of the way the walk go. You know? But if you one that's hard on yourself, trying to keep every law, trying to do this, trying to do that, all right, really what you're doing is making this work strenuous, man. Okay? There's a simplicity that's in your hour side and how you should, when he's up with you on how you should walk, man. Yeah, we do walk in carefulness, but... We supposed to also be careful for nothing. What I mean by that? There's a balance in that. You know, as I talked to the uh one of the younger brothers earlier today, you know, and we was just going into um uh balance or whatnot and how crucial is balance, man. So that's what really made me, you know, kind of do this quick ride and talk for our link with the bros and we get into a lesson. And this just was a quick hit, man. Cause even myself, you know, men sometimes can uh you know have this and this this a demon you know have this this uh stigma on them or uh, you know may think uh, you know or uh, uh, just kill themselves kick kick themselves you know when they down type of spirit you know but this Ecclesiastes 10 and 1 and that's why really trying to now we ought to have a good report amongst the brethren now what's a good report all right that don't mean that that's not a fault in your report. It just means that what? It says a, a righteous man falling seven times, but he get it back up again. So the fall actually allow us to know that we natural. We in the flesh, man. Okay, these things, we have to exercise in our thing, ourselves in the things that we don't want to happen. Because you best to believe you serve the Lord, something is going to happen that you don't want to happen. Because why? There's a trial and a test for man. Okay, to what? Examine his reasoning. Where his mind is at. Okay, the Lord said we'll be perfect in the kingdom of heaven. You know, we strive for perfection on this side, but we're not going to get it. Because the Lord didn't say we'll be perfect here. All right? This is Ecclesiastes 10 and 1. It says, dead flies cause the ointment of the apoc apothecary to send forth the stinking savior. So do it a little folly, him that is in reputation of wisdom and honor. So let me ask you this, right? 
which this is a trick question. Jake, uh, that's you know, this go for the Jake that's walking in the house of the Lord. You know, that's that fear of being vulnerable. All right, that fear of uh, having a miscue with the Lord. Okay, that's why grace in place. All right, if we could walk in perfection, there would be no need for grace, technically. So really, you're not having faith in the grace of the Lord. Now, that's not to say, hey, man, just, you know, go through anything and be any kind of way. But, man, what, what would happen is you are uh, you are hindering your walk in such a way. It's like crippling to your walk, okay? Let's say, uh, yeah, the second one. A man's heart is at his right hand. And who is our right hand? Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai? Meaning the spirit of our spirit, okay? Our mindset is always with the Lord, right? Because we standing on the right hand side of the Lord. So we we moving in righteousness, sake, man. It says, but a fool's heart is at his left. Meaning what? It's, it's in the earth. It's all over the place. We know where our heart reside at, okay? And the Lord, look at your heart anyways. All right, he, yeah, he, he judge your actions, but he know your heart. So at the end of the day, if you, you know, uh, you may slip at the tongue or whatever. I, 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 you know, I'm, I gotta be honest, but I, I slip at the tongue now. And you know, granted, I could probably work at it, be much better, slow down some, you know, but this, you know, goes out to myself first. You know, I slip at the tongue, but not from the heart, matter of fact, let me get that. And that's where your heart is at. The Lord know our hearts, man. It says, uh, he's slipping in his speech. Yeah, this is a rock, 19 and 16. It says, there is one that's slipping in his speech, but not from his heart. So our heart is at the right hand of the Lord, man. And who is he that had not offended with his tongue? See, a man don't want to make sure he say everything uh, that's, you know, that's righteous and spiritual. And we all got that. We we have that uh, mindset. You know, don't get it wrong. We all, as men of the law, we want that mindset. We want to do as right, possibly right as we can to all the brothers, man. You know, and helping them and, you know, the way that we approach them and talk to them. You know, different things like that, but there's a need be where we kind of misstep or miscarry. Because technically, our brothers are still supposed to be with us if we miscarry. It says, uh, be, be continually with a godly man that will tarry with thee if thou shalt miscarry. So that means you're going to have a folk, man. You know? Because, uh, Technically, if you do have a miscarry with a brother, there's ways and solutions to pretty much go about it, all right, that can keep you with a good report, all right? You could be apologetic, first and foremost. Then you could pray until the most high to forgive you for your sins. Then you could math through 18, man, all right? So there's ways and things that we can do to keep our report clean, all right? Jake looked for a perfect report, all right? You're just supposed to have a clean report amongst the brethren, man. Huh? Okay, it says, it says, admonish thy neighbor before thou threaten him. Because at the end of the day, what about when you slip? Uh, you know, something happened to you and you want your report to stay clean with the Lord, man. You see? And what, what you know, what if a brother, you do something to a brother, offend a brother or something, man? Now it's like, oh uh, shit, I ain't. You know, I'm not blemishes. And I, you know, I, I'll be the first to admit because obviously this uh, scripture, go, you know, this lesson goes out to myself first than the others. I'll be the first to admit I, I have uh, offended brothers, you know. Not, you know, you, you don't want to just do it on purpose or nothing like that, man. But, you know, you have offended brothers unknowingly. All right. And that, and that by default just make me, uh, I'm blamed now. So I no longer walk in the truth of the Lord unblemished you know so now i have a burden on my shoulder of always trying to keep this persona up that really don't exist man it's really not reality okay 
It's just a reality in your mind. You know? That's why when you ain't standing correct, stood correctly on something, okay, you gotta admonish it. You know? You gotta look at it as mercy, like the Lord, like, look, I'm correcting you on something you said, something you did, all right, which is which is re is uh pleasing to the Lord to see you can receive rebuke. All right, to see you can uh bounce back, you know. You know, because that can be a, a, a weakness in some men, man. All right? They're scared of vulnerability, man. All right? Scared of, scared of, uh, of, of making a mistake. Now, there's nothing wrong with being admonished, all right? You know, or making a mistake. We ought to be. Because, you know, we ain't supposed to be offending the little ones. You know, nothing shouldn't be intentional. But this walk of ours is unintentional, man. All right? That's why some men, and it's it's really a mistake is is to show that the Lord have mercy for you, technically. All right, a misfault, miscarry, or whatever. This is show the Lord have mercy for you, man. Now, now I'm not saying I'm not advocating for no man to just go and do do a mistake or do something, else, brother. Yeah, that wouldn't make sense. All right, but you know just. You know, it's just being being neutral, keeping the neutral spirit, man. Almost, man. Understanding that these things is gonna come, all right, and it's gonna it's gonna um, ultimately make you a better brother, all right. And we just trying to please the Lord, man. Okay, we're not gonna be able to please every man in the flesh, even our brothers that's in the tabernacle with us. You know, some things we're gonna do is gonna be unpleasing to them. It's going to be disliked, distasteful to him, you know. But ultimately, we got to still deal, the brothers got to still deal with the scriptures with a brother. You know, they got to be patient. They got to long suffer, got to tarry, man. Okay. Which gives us, you know, give us leverage, man. We got a little leverage in this thing, man. That's why Yahweh Shai did what he did. That's why he brought men together. But he had to, you know, Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai had to put leverage in the brotherhood, man, that we could make it, man. All right, at the end, we could be found faultless because we already full of fault, man. We already full of dirt. That's why it says a, a, a clean man, a strong man, uh, our hand cell wax stronger and stronger, Mr. Salaki. We get stronger and stronger, definitely by our miscues. I misquoted that, Salagia. This is Job 17 and 9. It says, The righteous also shall hold on his way. And he that had clean hands shall wax, shall be stronger and stronger. So we just trying to steady, you know, cleanse ourselves, man. Because again, we already got filth on us, man. All right. Just because you broke a precept down, man, that don't mean you're not a man of the Lord. You're a scumbag, you know? Just because you may have offended a brother, that don't mean you're not a man of the Lord, man. Okay? That's just kind of, you know, where it's at. Uh, even standing corrected on, on us from a scoff or whatever, like, you know, that's got to be something we we able to accept, man. All right? Because we're, we're able to stand many men and people corrected, but can we stand corrected ourselves? You know, when we have did an ill deed, especially amongst the brethren, I know we feel bad, you know, it would be an ill deed that we've done to the, the men of the Lord. It's like, you know, we let the Lord down ultimately. And that's a possibility. But the, uh, the, the Lord always, you know, the Lord mercy is, is, is uh, plentiful, man. You know, he always understand a man's heart. He know where that man's heart is at, you know. So that pretty much was it. I just wanted to kind of jump in there on standing corrected and on how it can actually help you grow, you know, according to the way that we um, emphasize our walk, you know, look into things and how we carry ourselves all together, man. All right. So it wouldn't be a big shocker to you when, <laughs> you know, the Lord done bust your bubble in a sense or showed you you ain't perfect or you ain't clean. You know, are you not that guy that you think you is, man? You see? And the Lord just, you know, kind of waiting, 
to, to hit you across the head with that, man. Because every Jake get in that spirit, man. Jake may some Jake may have a quote unquote better report than other men or whatnot. But you know, there's no such thing as a better report. It's just this what was in this man lot for his walk, ultimately, man. And and this was gonna be in your lot. So receive rebuke, rebuke, reproof. All right, all those things are in place because a man has faults with him, you know. And the Lord look at a man that has fault on how he actually bounced back for it, from it. So I will rock the Zod. It was edifying man until the next time. We'll see Shalom.